Now, a stock market is a marketplace where, of course, you or us as retail investors, we are able to participate in buying securities like stocks, bonds, ETFs, and the others, which by now you will know that, of course, as you are buying or as we are buying these stocks, uh, our main goal is to make as much money as we can from these uh, stocks or either stocks, ETFs, bonds, wherever asset class that you might be buying at the marketplace. Now, with that, it means that you need to make a, a very good strategic plan or you need to have a plan as to how you can make as much money uh, from the stock market or in the stock market this means that you can either choose if whether you want to play it safe and buy uh, things like ETFs rather than owning individual stocks but you must know or one thing that you should know uh, is that individual stocks are much more or gives you more opportunity or more room for you to grow your money much faster of course or at a faster pace when comparing to ETFs so you must determine the kind of an investor you are but personally if you are in it or if you are investing in the stock market for capital gains then obviously as you start yes you can start with buying ETFs but as you grow you need to start choosing and picking the stocks which you believe that they will do very well in terms of the share price in terms of increasing or surging um, looking at where they are currently trading at when you buy them so this is the only thing that will make you get to financial freedom much faster or quicker than buying of course etfs i know i know as i've said that some of the people or analysts or advisors or professional stock advisors they will advise you to start with etfs which like i said it is a good thing because it diversifies or buying an etf or buying an index it allows you to diversify of course in various sectors or various of course companies in different sectors which is always good but of course as you grow uh, as you know more and study more in the market i mean we have seen stocks growing by over two thousand percent we have seen stocks growing by over of course ten thousand percent which ladies and gents there are still going to be many other stocks that follows that pattern but of course the tricky part is to locating or finding those kind of stocks and then when to find of course that stock you need to of course invest as much money as possible onto those stocks so that at least you are able to make some good returns i mean amazon is one of the stocks that in the u.s has done so well over the years and had you put your big chunk of money in its early days or in amazon's early days you'll probably be sitting with good returns tesla is another stock that if you had put a good money or if you have invested as much money as possible onto a stock you'll probably be sitting with tons and tons of money in your portfolio so as as much as i can say that their stocks turn out to of course bring you more money more returns but the secret is to finding those kind of stocks that can do very well in the future or that can outperform the average market or the s p 500 and put in as much money onto those stock i mean this is the very same thing that we are seeing uh, big institutions or big gurus or big stock market investors like warren buffett do i mean at the end of q1 of 2023 if you are to go and you look at warren buffett's portfolio you will notice that 46 percent of his entire stock market portfolio is on apple so apple ladies and gents warren buffett identified it as that company that of course will of course do very well and it is making or it has been making some good monies for warren buffett but just to give you the figures i think warren buffett bought apple by just over 36 billion dollars and right now quadribble is gained onto this very uh, able stock which is something that must just show you that of course the success comes when you identify a certain stocks or good quality stocks which are said to do very well in the future and put in as much money as you can into that stock because ladies and gents 10% gain of $1,000 is not the same as 10% gain of $100,000 that is the, 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 the difference there is a huge difference because the person who had put maybe a hundred thousand dollars onto a stock when that stock let's say they bought it at the same, bought it at the same time with that person who bought it by one thousand dollars as that stock goes to ten percent that person who bought it by one thousand dollars only has a hundred dollars worth of profits in terms of looking at the money that he puts when he buy that stock whereas that other person on the other side has got ten thousand dollars so the more money you put into the stock or once you find that good quality stock is the more money you will make when the share price of that stock of course surge in terms of the share price so the tricky part is to finding a stock which is set for greatness 
I mean me personally this is the very same strategy I'm trying to follow building my stock market portfolio and uh, right now if I'm to be quite honest with you I only have eight stocks in my two portfolios I currently have two stock market portfolios one it's owned by my company and the other it's owned under my personal of course name so these eight stocks all of them ladies and gents I try to invest as much as possible into these stocks because I believe that these are the stocks which are said to do very well otherwise before I forget the answers you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video and I would really appreciate if you can just hit the like button if you are enjoying the content that I'm giving you about how you can grow your money in the stock market now in 2023 so give it a thumbs up button and of course subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content so yes i've realized or i've tend to realize that sometimes people or retail investors especially the beginners they tend to of course over diversify their portfolio which of course you'll find them sitting with the, in some of the stocks uh, probably 200 percent 500 percent but when you go and check the actual money they had put into that stock you realize that it is quite small they should have rather maybe instead of owning 30 individual stock they should have maybe trimmed their portfolio and make sure that maybe they have 10 or even 50 15 best stocks that they can put or be as much aggressive as possible onto those stocks so that even when they see good gains uh, from each one of those stocks they own it is giving them as much money or they are making as much money as they should owning a lot a bunch of stocks won't of course make you that much money because in my personal opinion I believe that the only time you can make money is when you invest a lot of money into an individual stock or into a, that stock in a way that when you see a 10% growth or you know that it's 10% of some good money which you had sort of sort of like heavily invested onto that stock and as I've said personally in my all my two portfolios I currently have of course a total of eight stocks which the other portfolio has two whilst the other has got six stocks and some of the stocks you know that I discuss them a lot on this channel and obviously onto this uh, uh, portfolios of mine I think three of the stocks I own are still on a red I think two are almost at a break even point but there is one that is still deep there and I think you know which stock I'm talking about but the good thing is that on the stocks that are generating me good money so in the stocks that I'm seeing some good returns on I, those are the stocks that are seriously recovering my portfolio because I, when I bought those stocks when they were trading low I put in as much money as possible onto the stocks which is why even when they grow by 60% 50% I'm seeing a massive growth or I'm seeing some good gains out of those stocks which is the, my message for today this is something that of course we are seeing big guys doing or we see a big guys like Warren Buffett Ray Dalio do they find they always have those stocks which they prioritize and put in as much money as uh, as possible I'm not saying of course don't diversify don't buy ETFs but I'm just saying for you to probably make a good returns on the, on your stock market portfolio you might need to look at of course prioritizing some of the stocks you own and putting as much money as possible especially to those stocks which you believe that their future is looking so bright that is how my personal opinion i believe you will make money that is how we are seeing of course big guys like warren buffett having to put around or over 36 just over 36 billion dollars onto apple and today sitting with over 170 billion dollars which is something that must just show you the kind of gains they are seeing if they had put maybe 10 million they were obviously not going to be sitting with the kind of gains they are sitting at but because they were quite aggressive and apple considered to over 40 percent of the entire stock market portfolio they are sitting with good gains able is generating them tons and tons of money which I think you and me we can learn a thing or two from that and say once we find that stock or once we find those good quality stocks we put in we go in we put our money as much as we can so that when they when those stocks uh, do well when their stocks uh, recover or when they surge in terms of the share price we make as much money from those stocks as possible i will say this again 10 percent of a 1000 is not the same as 10 percent of a hundred thousand so, so i believe that once you find those stocks put as much money 
money as you can. I know that well. One of the things that we see from retail investors is that when the share prices of the companies they own or probably they've thrown in a lot of money in it drops, they tend to withdraw or sell all their, of course, holdings out of that company, which totally it's not a good thing right because you are, you are you are losing money right but if you believe that stock unless the fundamentals of the that stock change then uh, there's no need for you to sell that company because if the fundamentals continue growing or if the future prospects are still looking so great then you know, all you need to do when you see sharp falls sharp drops into those stocks that you've seriously invested or put your money heavily onto them is to probably increase your holdings so that at least you can lower your average down and of course by that it will mean that when the stock or that stock recovers you will make some good monies out of it this is how personally i am investing or i invest in the stock market and this so far it is working for me i know that i still have like i said out of the eight stocks i still have three stocks that are on the red but, but nonetheless the ones that are flourishing the ones that i'm seeing some good gains from I, i'm very excited because it is the good gains of the uh, probably the monies that i've of course uh, or the kind of chunk of monies i invest in a lot uh, on those to those stocks which is why i'm very excited every time i open my stock market portfolio to either add or increase my holdings in, onto those that are on red or maybe just to check how my portfolio or both my portfolios are performing so otherwise with all that guys i just thought i'd just come and uh, let you know some of the things that are personally working in my stock market portfolio um and what i am also copying from the big guys or the big gurus like warren buffett as to how they are investing into their stock market portfolios and if it's working for them and it's working to some of the people i think it can also work for you if you just sit down and rethink because one of the things that of course you you don't want to find yourself in is to regret not buying enough out of a stock when it it has surged by over 50 100 200 percent the only way you can of course win is to try to put in as much money as you can once you find the stock that of course makes sense for you and of course also analysis sort of like a positive or a bullish um, because it is important that of course over and above maybe your analysis you also check what the big institutions or big financial institutions are doing out of their holdings of that very same company you either want to buy or increase your holdings too otherwise with all that guys that's all from me and god bless you all